Soludo the malicious rights activist house in Oka. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Nambra State Government has demolished the newly constructed heart of a human rights activist, Mr. Osita Obi. The building in the duplex, which was constructed in the executive business district area of Oka, near the abandoned government house, was demolished on Wednesday. Obi, who raised the alarm over the destruction, stated that he was pained because he was not even told of the intended destruction. Intended destruction stated that he was pained because he was not even told of intended destruction so he could take away some needed items in the house. He told journalists, my pain is not that the house was demolished. After all, government was told that the area had been acquired by it and the houses built there would be demolished. My pain is that when they wanted to demolish it, they did not as little as notify us so that we can remove some useful items of the house. My wife has been in tears since after the demolition. She has been crying ceaselessly. I have heard that the government has said it will copy us compensation as it was captured in the 2023 appropriation bill, but if they notified us, it would have helped us bear the shock of the demolition. That house was built by my wife. Even one cobble of mine did not go into it. My wife is a retiree from a federal government agency and she used her life saving and retirement fund to buy the land and also construct the building. The land was very legally acquired and even my building plan was approved by the government. Now they are telling me they will pay compensation. Do they want to kill my wife so that I will use the money they will pay me to bury her? He asked rhetorically. It was however learned that the Oka Capital Territory Development Agency has reached out to the activist, assuring him that he will get compensation for the demolished building. Comrade Osita Obi, the coordinator of Anambra Keke and Shuttle Drivers Union, has been at the forefront of championing the cause of trap riders in the state, including engaging government for the reduction of taxes paid by the operators. He was formerly the coordinator of the movement for the conduct of local government election in Anambra State and held the P2B and Willio Biano administration by the jugular over the non conduct of local government elections in the state. This is very painful. This is very painful. Why the why the governments no even notify them? For this country, why be say things they happen upside down? Because you want to compensate them, you no go tell them. It no make sense. Ha uh ah. -uh. Other places, if you won't see, even if as much as if it is power that want to go off for 15 minutes, you will see them give the, they will give a warning, oh, this is going to happen so, so time, or people should take notes. Only in Nigeria, things have been done upside down. And if you talk too much, you're going to be compensated. Is everything money? Kai, this won't pay me you. Do you know how expensive it is to build a house? To even buy a land? To save money, not one, not two. And then you acquire the land. And then you start building the structure. And the structure they're showing us here has gone up. It is almost nearly completion. At least they would have pulled out the doors, pulled out windows. Kai, they no try. They no try at all. <clears throat> now, wow, this is pure winch hunt, so Ludo cannot last. Now, so you both talk nonsense about Bari. Even Oyebo said God told him Bari days are numbered since 2017 till now. Bari is still their life. This is not even about, nobody should bring in Bari here. We're not even talking about it. Kai. I beg, go rest. They love useless sympathy when you are aware. Why did you still go ahead and build on government land? You did not, that means you did not read. You did not understand the passage. Fine. They have marked this place for destruction. But they were waiting, okay. The, 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 the building was there. Had it been, they told them, that house was a newly built house. The doors there would have been reused for another place. The windows there would have been used for another place. Maybe there are electronics and, you know, things in the house that it could be removed and could be used for another place. Everything would be, uh-uh. Now, why? If you have never, if you have ever spent millions to build a house in your life, you'll notice how painful it is. I'm telling you, it is very painful. Especially not even just building the house. This period will be say things no day. Things are five times, six times, seven. What am I saying? A door you will get for sixteen, eighteen thousand naira in two thousand and two thousand and what again? Two thousand and twelve. You will not get it for sixteen. You will not even see it for. You might not even get it for fifty thousand. I'm just telling you how things are. 
then you get to small little by little, little by little. Money will be say you save with the squeeze them, with the use them. Now everything just go to waste. Kai. It's painful. This blind leader cannot see all the bad roads and the commercial city of nature, but the whole world comes to do business and repair them. So Ludo is now a different man in governance, possibly saying what ordinary Nigeria cannot see. You were informed that you were waiting for the government to bring a bottle of wine to brief you again. That's not true. That's not true. This is similar to some building around Fanesu in Kano. The buildings are a threat to security as they are near Nigerian base, FS base. Kano said government should reconsider these buildings and relocate the owners and demolish the buildings. After all, the things that are kept there are mostly of questionable attention. Drugs, arms, and even some of the people are of questionable character. At one time, they blocked the entire road, denying the indigents passage to their villages and homes. Hmm. Oh, wow. Government has the right to acquire any land or property for public interest. The activists have been informed and assured of compensation. I don't see anything so special about the warrants to... Oh, say so special about it to warrant such a sensational headline. Are you really serious? Anyway, some people are not going to understand. This is the same man supporting salute and insulting p Maybe he wanted to cover favor from Surudu so he could spare his house. I don't think so. I don't think that's what he wanted to do. Next time an action governor tells you he has acquired your land and promised to compensate you, just pack your load and expect a compensation. Do not waste time. Well, this next this is a story for next time. We send our consolation to the wife. Please, you should take heart. This is very painful. I know this will, this will cause her pain for a very long time, but she should be compensated. She should be, um, what's it called? She should be consoled. Because when she please take care of the wife, the spirit. This thing they pay no. This thing will make a nice now. Woman said go, but it could be prepared and wear well. Ah, <sighs> okay. Mm. A lot of people do not understand what it means. A lot of people are saying the government don't say they will compensate, you know. That is the problem. But like I said, truly just like the person said, next time a gov a governor don't tell you say T D S house they don't maybe the best thing to do is to pull out your things. Pull out your things and, you know, pack away from that place. Because if I look at the situation very well, truly, truly, it is painful, yes. But the government has informed you that they have bought the house and they were going to demolish. But at least you would have just, you know, packed that time. Now you go, you don't use pack your things. All right. For those who are saying this is because of... um. This is the man supporting Salud and insulting P2B. I don't think this is the right time to say this. Mm -hmm. This thing don't happen. Now, whether I like it or not, it's painful. Okay, we just hope that the woman is consoled. Mm -hmm. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come.